Audacity 3.4.0 introduced a bug on Windows during export. Though I am using a Mac, people commented on my videos about this bug. Audacity's official YouTube channel also confirmed in a comment on my video that it will be fixed in the next release. If you already upgraded to 3.4.0, I will show you a workaround so that you can continue your work. Let's assume you want to export this audio. So you go to export and choose a file format. On the file name, you can see the file format at the end. If I choose the format like WAV or MP3, the file name is changing accordingly. But on some Windows versions, no file format appears at the end. Audacity 3.4.0 is not adding the format automatically. That is causing the file to be exported in an undesired format. If I export this audio without any file format at the end, you will see what I mean. I have exported the audio without giving any file format at the end, and I will go to the location of the file. This is the file and if I open it, it will be gibberish. My OS is not detecting it as an audio file. The same thing is also happening in Windows. The workaround would be to add the file format at the end. Please remember, this bug appears only on some Windows versions. So if yours is working fine, you do not need to do anything. I will export it as MP3, so if no extension is added automatically, I have to add that manually. The Audacity team is going to fix this in the next release, so I hope this bug will be fixed pretty soon. If I now check that file, it is an audio file as the audio icon appears. I can play this file if I want. So this was the Windows bug I wanted to show you. In the next part of the video, I want to show you a quick way to make voice better. I want to show you next an amazing Audacity tool I developed. I developed those with my years of audio editing experience. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. I will make a duplicate and compare between the original and the improved. I will improve the top track. Select everything inside the track and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, you can choose the type of improvement you want. I have several types of improvement like Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Intelligent Improve, Interview Improve, Podcast Improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the Clear Vocal Improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play the original first and then the improvement. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. Inside the macros folder, you will get some TXT files. From the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each TXT file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros in this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after-sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution.